Good day, guys. I've been playing around with the standalone Armbian Linux build for the R36S, trying to think of what some actual use cases would be for it, since this is primarily a gaming handheld, and it got me wondering if it's possible to actually play older versions of RuneScape directly on the handheld itself. So that's what we'll be trying out today. We'll be starting with a fresh install of Armbian Linux, and since we've already covered how to do that in a previous video, we won't bother going over it again. I will link a full installation video down in the description below. We will obviously need internet access on our R36S to actually play RuneScape Online. So we'll once again just be using our cheap little wireless adapter along with a USB-A to USB-C adapter. To make it easier to film, I'll also be using a USB wireless mouse, but you could obviously just use the built-in joysticks instead. I've just connected everything to a cheap USB 2 hub, which will plug into the R36S's OTG port. I've zoomed in on the screen to hopefully make it a little bit easier to see. And we've already connected to our Wi-Fi, you can see, container. So we should be ready to go. Obviously, we won't be able to actually play Old School RuneScape or RuneScape 3 on this. There's just not enough power. So instead, we'll start with the open source RuneScape Classic project. It does have a web client, so we'll be using that. Let's go to Applications, go down to Internet, and we'll open Chromium. We'll bring up the on-screen keyboard, and we want to go to rsc.vet. I'll also link that down in the description below. We can close off our on-screen keyboard. So from the main RuneScape Classic page, we want to scroll down a little bit. We want to run RSC Preservation. Go down a little bit. We want the web client. Scroll down once more. And we want to go RuneScape Classic Preservation World 1. We'll scroll down a little bit more so the game window is sort of centered. There we go. It does seem to be loading pretty quickly, so that's a good sign. And we're on the login screen. That didn't take too long at all. We'll go existing user. I do need to bring up the on-screen keyboard once more. I'll just enter my username and password. Something worth noting is occasionally the on-screen keyboard does lag a little bit, so you may need to type in your details a little bit slower. With that entered, we'll close the on-screen keyboard once more, and we'll click OK to log in. Hopefully it just works. And there we go, we are logged in. You can see my username is R36S, which I thought was pretty neat, it was available. So it does seem to play OK. There's a little bit of lag, but it uh, seems to be pretty authentic. This is pretty much how it would have ran back in the day on an old PC anyway. So that's pretty cool. See if we can battle something. Fortunately, I've already uh, finished this step, so it won't let me go back to it. I am on Tutorial Island. But yeah, it is uh, perfectly playable. One thing I will note is the actual game screen is a little bit larger than our visible uh, view area. I think what we can do is, we should be able to hide the bookmarks bar. There we go. And now we can view the entire screen. So even with our low resolution, it does all work. There is also sound effects, which is good. There you go, you can hear it. There was no music back in RuneScape Classic, so that's why there's uh, no songs playing, but sound effects do work. I think we'll close out of RuneScape Classic and we will try something a little bit more modern, 2004 scape. You can log out, go to the spanner, go to the very bottom, click log out. We'll go back to the address bar at the top, bring up the on-screen keyboard. We want to type in 2004. Lost City RS and press enter. We can hide the on-screen keyboard once more. You should get to the launch page. We'll scroll down, click I understand, go down a little bit, go play game. We want low detail just to give it the best chance. We want to go to members. We'll try the Australian world, world nine. This game window is a lot larger than our 640 by 480 resolution. So you can see we do have to scroll, but it is loading. For some reason, we are stuck on connecting to update server. I have tried clearing the browser history but it didn't seem to help. The internet obviously works. So I think what I'll do is I will reset the R36S and we'll have another crack. Unfortunately, that didn't seem to help. I have tried a few different worlds. They all get stuck at the same point. I can confirm 2004 Scape is not offline. It works fine on my main PC and it was working fine on here earlier this morning when I was testing it. So I think what we'll do is we will close out of Chromium and try in Firefox. Just copy the link to save a bit of time. Go back to applications, go down to internet, we'll go Firefox ESR. It's a little bit slow to load. There we go. It's the first time opening Firefox on this, so we may have to accept an agreement or something. We'll close off the other tab it opened. Okay, so Firefox has finally finished loading. I've closed off the two welcome tabs. Let's open a new blank tab. We'll navigate back to 2004 Scape. There we go. We'll close off the on-screen keyboard. Scroll down, accept the agreement once more. Scroll down again, play game. We want low detail, go down, we'll go world nine, Australia. Looks like our browser is glitching a little bit. Let's see if we can go full screen. Oh, there we go, it's fixed itself. I'll click I understand while it loads. Hopefully we get past the update server. But unfortunately it did hang there again. I have reset my access point, but annoyingly still doesn't get past the update server part for some reason now. But before we give up on 2004 scape completely, 
I will try USB tethering instead of this wireless adapter. Okay, we're on USB tethering now. We'll refresh the page and cross our fingers. But unfortunately, still get stuck here. Annoyingly, it was working fine this morning. I was playing with it for around half an hour. No issues. But yeah, it looks like it just doesn't want to work anymore. We'll close out of Firefox once more and we'll try Chromium just in case. And no, still stuck on the connecting to update server. Do give this one a try yourself though, since as mentioned, it was working perfectly early in the morning and I have no idea why it always gets stuck here now. I have tried clearing the cache, changing the IP, resetting my access point and all that. Just doesn't help. But the internet does still work fine on the device. So I don't think the issue is actually related to my internet. We'll close this off since I do want to try one more thing. And that is trying to run the RuneScape Classic server and client both offline on our little R36S. I have had luck running both the server and client on other low end devices. So I'm hoping we have just enough RAM to run it on this. Just showing we don't have any internet access. It is all offline, no network. We'll go to applications, open up terminal. We'll bring up the on-screen keyboard. Do LS, there it is there, RSC. I have already downloaded and installed everything we need to run it. So I won't cover that here and you'll find out why in a moment. We'll go CD, RSC, list it again. And we wanna run start linux.sh dot slash capital S L, go tab again to auto complete the rest and enter. I have already compiled the game, so we'll go to start the game. Again, this is RuneScape Classic. We want single player edition, so it does launch both the client and the server. So we'll go one and we'll close the on-screen keyboard and we'll just wait patiently for it to load. Should be launching the client, there we go. Now this client won't actually load anything if the server isn't running. So if it does get stuck on loading, then the server hasn't started. Hopefully we do get past that part. Unfortunately, this attempt, it didn't actually load which means that the server wasn't running when we tried to start the client. If I close it off, it automatically uh, stops the server. So on-screen keyboard, press any key, go back. We'll try again, two, start the game, enter. And we want one. Hopefully this time it actually loads. It should launch the client any second. Here we go. Fingers crossed the server's running this time. Loading configuration, that's a good sign. It did uh, find the server. There we go, loading people and monsters. So it is struggling, but it is trying to load. The server is in fact running in the background locally on our R36S. At this point, we would have already ran out of RAM and the page file or the swap file for Linux would be uh, getting thrashed right now. And that's why it has hung. There we go, it's continued loading. Again, it is thrashing our swap file. So we're on the uh, login screen. This is all running locally offline. To show you the internet, it is heavily lagging because we are out of RAM, so no network connection, as you can see. We'll go existing user, click OK. Connecting to server, it's trying. It doesn't look like it's actually going to uh, log in though. Again, there's just not enough RAM. We did get pretty close though. It would have been pretty cool to be able to play RuneScape Classic completely locally offline on our little handheld, but uh, just not possible. I think we'll close it off and give up on this little uh, adventure. Overall, I'm glad we tried it. RuneScape Classic didn't run too badly. The live version anyway, the local server just didn't work. 2004 scape stopped working for some reason. I'm not too sure why it always gets stuck at connecting to update server, but as mentioned, it was working perfectly this morning. It was running a little bit choppy, but it definitely was playable. You'd probably have a better experience streaming it using Moonlight, but then that does require an additional PC. Whereas using Armbian, we were able to do it all on the device itself. Runelight or RuneScape 3 definitely won't even load on this. So I didn't bother trying. 2009 scape was a little bit too heavy for it as well. So we didn't bother trying that today. But at least you can technically play some version of RuneScape online on your R36S. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.